The U.S. has been stripped of their voting rights at the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization, known as UNESCO. The U.S. stopped paying dues to the organization three years ago to protest the agency's recognition of the so-called Palestine. UNESCO's membership allows Palestinian territories to seek world heritage status for historical sites and to contribute to their campaign for recognition of an independent state. U.S.'s move to cut funding was prompted by a mandate, according to which any U.N. agency loses its financial sponsorship if Palestinians become members. With the United States contributing tens of millions of dollars a year to the peace-promoting organization, UNESCO's representative commented on the unfortunate circumstances that have taken away America's voting rights and brought the organization financially to its knees. What I regret is that uh, this uh, decision uh, uh, became uh, so divisive and uh, um, I would say uh, um, uh, triggered uh, this uh, suspension of the funding uh, and that uh, it does not uh, go along with the uh, other decisions of the United Nations, which put us um, in a slightly uh, different uh, situation. The now underfunded UNESCO has begun slashing programs, one of which has been the Holocaust and Genocide Awareness Program in Africa. Africa. The organization's move irritated the U.S., which had fiercely promoted the program. Some diplomats fear UNESCO could become a breeding ground for anti-Israeli sentiment without U.S. and Israeli presence, since both countries suspended their dues at the same time. Israel, uh, in this case, is following the U.S. Uh, policy of uh, not accepting the politicization of international organizations uh, through the accession of non-existing uh, states as member states. We believe that this turns UNESCO from an organization of science into an organization of science fiction, and we feel that this is detrimental to the uh, fate of the organization and other organizations if they do the same. UNESCO's main mission has been to be an anti-extremist organization, while its foreign policies include issues such as clean water, eradicating poverty and promoting freedom of expression.